it's 17 degrees out and it's perfect weather for ice sanding. We have these little trucks that we drive out on the bog full of sand and we spread a thin layer of sand out there, about a half an inch. And we try to do the whole bog nice and evenly. If we go good and we don't fall through the ice too many times, we can do about uh, five acres a day with, with three machines. And the sand will filter down through the ice get around the plants but not on them and it'll help them sprout new roots keep the surface dry and kill any moss that's growing on there because of the wet surface and take care of any insects that might be down in the uh, in the soil some of the insects that are in the soil it won't kill them all our basic reason for sanding is nutrition for the plant it helps it grow and be stronger and keeps the surface nice and dry so that the the plant doesn't get fungus on it. We sand every three years, try to on a schedule, but we really like to sand on the ice because it's a lot cheaper and quicker and does no damage to the plant unless you leave piles or thick spots out there. On an acre, we use between 50 and 75 uh, yards of sand, depending on the thickness it goes on. Sometimes when the weather's colder, the sand comes out thinner, and no matter how much we adjust the uh, spreaders, we can't get it to come out thicker because it's freezing in the hoppers, so it doesn't get on as thick. Sometimes you like to put it on thin so that you don't have any piles out there to, to go out and rake in the spring. That's one of our worst problems when we sand is the sand lays on top of the vine and mats it down. And if you go over three quarters of an inch of, of sand, there's a good chance that you're gonna mat the vine down and you'll have to go out and either keep flooding the bog and, and, and try to knock the, uh, the vines up through the sand in the water or go out with rakes and just pull them up through the sand. Some people have to buy sand for their bogs. They run out, there's no more hills around the bog. Generally, they buy screen sand, take the screens off, we, we're screening ours, and just dump it right in the hopper. It works a little faster, so we can do that for speed anyways. But we have sand pits at every bog. Almost every bog we have has plenty of sand for another 50 years.